All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Look at the turnover in that kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Poirier. Oh, nice defense. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Now a knee. Oh, nice knees by him. Man, he does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons tonight. He is using those knees to slow down this ball. Beautiful takedown land. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop them. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him. Round two here. Powerful leg kick land. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early. The timing is on the point. Great job of mixing everything up. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a line. Man. Man. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to chase that finish down now. with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever had a kill with a fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy... Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. 
Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still stands, he's still in their fight. Beautiful punch. Watch if the strike lands, but my my. Oh. Lose hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 55 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Eraser. All right, so there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word. It's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear Ann New. And then they want to hear Ann still, but before anything, you've got to hear Ann New. And when you hear it, man, it's like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. You know in that moment that nobody will ever take that away from you. That belt goes with you, and it will live with you for the rest of your life.